What's going on guys, Vic VP back with another Game Case Arcades video. On this episode and many future videos, we are basically finishing up Eugene's Arcade. So the time has come, everything is done. Basically I'm setting up the whole rig to basically now record um, actual gameplay from the cabinet, some tutorials needed for Eugene and really just talking about the 40 terabyte drive um you know i'm going to be talking about emulators and the headaches i've dealt with some game testing because a lot of people do actually want to see actual gameplay um so there's gonna be a couple of series um for example like on this one here i'm going to start it off with the most wanted emulator and yet the most pain in the ass emulator we're going to be talking about techno parrot and tato type x so again basically on this episode i'm going to give you a quick brief overview basically we're going to talk about the emulators the headaches I've dealt with, I'm gonna do a little bit of gameplay. And then in a next video, I'm gonna do a lot of gameplay because a lot of people do like to see gameplay, I guess. I didn't know that was a big thing, um, but I'm getting a lot of requests for people actually seeing gameplay. The only big thing is that I don't wanna do a screen grab, a screen record um, off the Elgato. I would rather set up the camera and kind of do an over the shoulder view. Um, we're gonna take this one as a test. You guys will let me know if you do like how it looks. Um, but again, let's try this one out. I personally don't want to do a screen grab because you don't really see the full effect of me playing with the arcade buttons and such. So again, that's kind of like an overview of what's going to happen with this episode and the future ones. So again, we're going to be discussing emulator. We're going to be discussing systems and then a little bit of gameplay and then its own episode. We'll do a lot of gameplay. So like I said, you're going to see a lot of episodes. Basically right now, I'm just trying to set up the rig. You know, this is my workstation. Yes, this is my chair. I need a comfortable chair, reclines and everything, especially when I game. So basically right now I'm gonna sit in the chair, I'm gonna to try to put the camera up here just to kind of get the screen and also the arcade buttons. Um, but again, this right now is 99% done. We just gotta do final team molding, but that I'm gonna do when we ship this out. Uh, but again, we're gonna be talking about emulators, we're gonna be talking about some tutorial. It's not a lot of tutorial, but a little bit, uh, mostly really related to Dolphin uh, to switch up the controls and such. But again, let's do one episode at a time. This one, we're gonna be talking about Techno Parrot and Tato Type X. So just a quick point out I wanna do. Um, again, when I build the machines and test, I test. And the one thing I do wanna show you is how much I test. You could just see how much, even from the last video, look at that start button. Again, Game Room Solutions providing a cheap kind of start button, but this is just going to show you that it's never copy and paste. You have to test everything. And what I'm just gonna show you right now with the Techno Parrot and the Tato Type X games, I literally had to test each game, configure each game. It's no joke when it comes to emulation. So I just wanna point that out real quick, but don't worry, we're gonna be swapping that button out. Like I said, player one is the most heavy one because that's where I kind of assign everything. Player two, as you can see, it's not that drastic, but again, player one, heavy testing. Uh, off the bat, I'm gonna have to turn off my lights because I see a glare. Alexa, turn off the basement light. Okay. Awesome. So first things first, we have to understand what Techno Parrot is and what I mean by Tato Type X. Um, I've been doing the research on this for a long time, and this honestly is the most time-consuming thing as far as setting up. Yes, there is shortcuts that you could do to get like basically the controller set up, but again, for me, I have to test each game. That's just how I am. So in all honesty, with these ROMs, um, there's basically a program, like a, a configuration program for the controller. Um, some ROMs do need Techno Parrot to run, such as MAM emulator. You know, you have the ROM, you have to run the emulator to make the ROM run. Um, so some of these games on Techno Parrot, you do actually need to launch in Techno Parrot. But the big thing that I learned is that any game, uh, and again, this is, you know, not many people are going to understand what I'm talking about. But any game within Tato Type X, uh, Nasika Live, and such, um, basically, if there's a game that just uses jconfig to run, I took that out of Techno Parrot and I have it running under my Tato Type X. So uh, basically, the, the big thing to understand is that these are like executable files. These literally are like game executable. So, like Street Fighter V, that's a game executable. I don't need techno parrot to run this game but with this there is a configuration program uh, it's either called type x config or j config 
if the game runs those two, either one of those two emulators, I removed it entirely from Techno Parrot. Again, Techno Parrot is just a big headache. It's huge. It's not that easy. If you are a noob, a Techno Parrot is not the way to start. It's, there's, a lot of, there's a lot of stuff going on with Techno Parrot. Um, so basically, real quick, I just want to show you an example. Um, this is the entire Techno Parrot library. And in this library, for example, we have Tekken 7. So the big thing is though, like when I, when I tested each game, you know, you go into each folder and then you kind of like, you know, overview the folder. So for example, here I see Tekken 7, it's in Techno Parrot, but in all honesty, when I look up Tekken 7 and I bring it up to here, you go into Tekken game binaries, there is J config here, see that? Anytime I see J config and a PC executable, I no longer need Techno Parrot to run this. I could run this on its own. So the way I have my hyperspin set up is that basically it's like PC launcher. Tato Type X is just a PC launcher that will launch the game. So you're going to see like my Techno Parrot list is going to be games short, but that's because I took the game from Techno Parrot and left it on its own executable. So again, this is just nerd talk. Some people might not be able to follow. Some people understand what I'm saying. Um, but again, there's really two different things that are happening when it comes to Tato Type X and Techno Parrot. When I ran these games, like this game Tekken 7, if I ran it in Techno Parrot, it was just not doing my button configurations. I had error messages. It's just a huge headache. Uh, so again, that's just how I narrowed it down. So for example, here, the most newest game that just came out of emulation was Street Fighter V Type Arcade. That is an actual arcade cabinet that I've, I've actually played that in the arcade. This is an actual arcade game. So I'm gonna launch it real quick. And again, I'm launching it right now out of the PC executable file. Um, I'm gonna show you how it looks in hyperspin, but again, I just wanna show you kind of what I'm talking about. I'm gonna have to turn off my logo so we don't see any glare. But again, I right now have this running outside of Techno Parrot. And again, this is actual real Street Fighter V type arcade. That's the name of the arcade game. Like if you look up type arcade Street Fighter V, you're gonna see the actual cabinet. Um, and this basically does need coins. Uh, so you're gonna see like this is legit. This is no longer just regular Street Fighter V that you have like on the Xbox or the PC. This is like legit unique coins. So I'm gonna bump up the volume. I have the, the microphone pointed away, but just to show you a little bit, I'm gonna hit the coins. See, like, this actually needs you to press start. So again, this is the actual real arcade ROM of Street Fighter V. So you can do arcade. Again, you can see the credits on the bottom. So again, Street Fighter V, this is the actual arcade. This came out like a week ago. This was just, um, you know, released um, on a couple of uh, websites and got it to work. And again, it's gonna wind up in Techno Parrot, but for me, this is in Tato Type X. So again, this is the legit arcade version. So if I actually die, it's gonna be like continue and you're gonna put coins in and such. So. Just to give you guys an example, trying to understand what exactly I'm talking about with Tato Type X and Techno Parrot. All right, guys. So here we go. We are in literally um, the setup I would do for recording the screen. So let me know how it looks. I want to show you a little bit of the arcade buttons and such. But just real quick again, talk about J Config. This is the actual configuration program that runs basically to assign each button. So I literally sit here, and again, I know that there is a way and a shortcut, but some games have designated J configs. So basically I sit here and I literally have to input each button. So again, this is all set. Um, again, this is what I'm talking about. Anything that runs this J config program, it could be run outside of Techno Parrot. It's so much easier, so much cleaner to run it this way. Um, so again, J config is ran, we have it saved. And right now I'm gonna basically launch this game. Again, this is Tekken 7. This is the actual arcade game. You will find this in arcades. 
uh, an arcade in Long Island that's by me. I forgot what it was called. It's a bowling arcade. Um, I forgot what it was called, but I've seen this game. I've seen Street Fighter V. Uh, and you know, again, once we see that emulation can make those games run, it's pretty mind boggling. So I'm gonna have volume all the way up on this and just a headphone warning, this thing is loud. It's insanely loud. Check this out. Good morning. So on his uh, sound system he has up here, he actually has a bass knob. I have this at 100%. It's ridiculous. The sound of this is insane. Loud. Insanely loud, I have to lower it <laughs> or else you're gonna go deaf. So I brought it down to reasonable volume. Still have the bass on high, let's probably start. Welcome to the King of Iron Fist Tournament 7. Notice I doesn't have Eddie Gordo. Get ready for the next battle. battle, battle. So notice it says online battle. It's not actually online. The I'm just gonna let it play. Then I'll discuss it because <laughs> it's loud. Come and get some. Round one. Sorry about that, I literally thought I heard my wife yelling for me. <laughs> now I'm gonna lower it, just gonna bring it down to normal volume. And again, just a couple things to notice. Like this says online battle, this actual arcade cabinet in the arcades is a single player game. There's only one joystick and if they wanted to do online battle meaning two players, uh, you would actually have to do a LAN connection, have a separate cabinet. So it's not really you playing online, it just says online, but you're not playing online. So as you can see, I'm not really, it's funny that I do a lot of fighting games. Um, I'm not really good at them. I'm right now button matching, I'm not gonna lie to you. I'm a little uh, shocked that this game does not have Eddie Gordo. Uh, the actual Tekken 7 our, uh, PC game has Eddie Gordo, but Eddie Gordo is not in apparently the arcade ROM version. So again, Tekken is only four buttons. Buttons uh, three and six don't do anything because they're not assignable. Uh, it's just a four button game. So low punch, high punch, low kick, high kick. So unless you really know your fighters and you know their stuff. But as you can see right now, Tekken 7, this is running 
potato type X J config and it's clean. I really like J config because there's an actual button that you set up for exit, which is my exit button. That's what I really like about it. So this is literally able to run standalone. So I actually have, I could do a couple of combos here. Okay, I just want to show you the smoothness of this. So this said, if I go down, I have to build it up a little. That's a perfect one. Huh. But there you have it, Tekken 7, one button exit, and like I said, that's why I like J config. It's just very simple. Um, let's do a techno parry game just to show you um, what it is. So again, there's a big list of techno parrot here, but not all of these games are assignable. Um, just a little quick fact, I literally go into each hyperspin database. Literally, I have basically my Techno Parrot is under Sega Ring Edge, and then I have Tato Type X. So I literally pulled um, stuff from this database file. I literally would, would cut and paste from here to Tato Type X. This way, hyperspin doesn't even recognize it as a Techno Parrot game. So again, on my XML list, there is no Tekken 7. This is on its own emulator because it has like, its own list. But on my hyperspin wheel, there is actually no Tekken 7 underneath Techno Parrot. Uh, so again, Techno Parrot, I really noticed, in all honesty, on my setup, it's a lot of racing games that are within Techno Parrot. Um, there are a couple of fighting ones. Um, some of the games that I would never even know were, were such a thing. Um, but there's a couple fighting ones. There's a lot of racing ones. And there's a lot of... Um, like Raiden X, like 1942 style uh, shoot 'em up games. Um, but again, I figure Tato Type X is really, uh, I figure Techno Parrot is really a racing kind of setup. I know I have a couple of games. Oh, let's do this. A lot of people were shocked uh, when they saw it on Instagram. Pokemon Tournament. Uh, this was pretty crazy. So you're gonna see real quick how Techno Parrot launches. See, it's got this thing going on. This game running it's literally launching like three files in the background uh, and then it launches it so this is an example of a game that does need techno parrot to run uh, with that as you can see not much of a delay it's just that it's launching a bunch of programs and again you could look it up pokemon it's pokemon but on this is pokemon tournament uh, this is an actual arcade game uh, you will literally find this in the arcade you can see some games do have like the card reader uh, so luckily there is ways to have Techno Parrot pretend that there is one or ignore the check on it. Uh, there are some games that won't even go to the next screen because it's looking for that. A game I know for sure that was like that was Mario Kart. Uh, Mario Kart DX was looking for like a camera and you have to set it up accordingly. So right now we're going to do some Pokemon tournament. I played this on my Instagram and people were going nuts for it. So this right now we have it set to free play. That's just how the emulator is. Let's put, let the kind of thing go. Very nice. The uh, graphics are amazing. So I'm gonna get into a game. So a lot of it is in Japanese. These are all mostly Japan games. So I'm really honestly you're gonna be taking a guess as to what you know what game like what it says, because I don't know what it says, obviously. Um let's do Pikachu. Again, I'll start off the game with some high volume. Street Fighter meets Pokemon. Round 
から仕切り直したね So again, it's in Japanese. You can't change the settings on this unless they make、uh, a thing for it. There was, like, for example,、uh, Mario Kart was in Japanese and they had an English translation.、Um, but again, I have nothing to do with that. It's a very interesting game. I didn't even know this was a thing.、Uh, but again, just kind of button mashing it to figure it out. Okay, I got the assist on that. That was my guy. So, now, real quick, the thing about Techno Parrot is that there's no button configuration to exit.、Um, I even have Joy to Key set up. Sometimes it doesn't recognize it, so you will actually need your keyboard handy to escape out.、Um, I do have. Joy,、uh, Joy to Key configured to press escape on my regular button, but some games don't even recognize it.、Um, so, again, just a couple samples. We'll go into very in depth、um, actual gameplay.、Uh, just want to show you real quick the hyperspin launch on this. I have to exit Techno Parrot before I launch it. We'll load up hyperspin. So, it's really by the arcade wheel. So, again, Sega Ring Edge. And then we have Tato Type X. So, if you want to talk technical, Tato Type X, there's Tato Type X, X2, X3, and X4. Street Fighter V is really X4, but for me, I'm going to be putting all those Tato Type Xs in that one game system. It's much easier.、Uh, I just had to fix the little config file for this. But, real quick, let's load up Tato Type X, which is an enter button on here. I have it actually set now. Like, again, we're going to go in depth with Hyperspin. But I have button one hold long press to go enter.、Um, let's do a game. Let's do like another fighting game.、Uh, we could actually do Street Fighter 4.、Um, let's see. Again, I think there's about 50 games in this one.、Uh, let's see. Do, 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 do. It is in alphabetical order. So I have, but it's just like there's Super Street Fighter. And then there's like another Street Fighter 4. There's Street Fighter 5, see? Um, Raiden. Alright, let's do Super Street Fighter 4. So I could hold press this. Loading complete. Again, I have enter right where really it's by the, the bottom plate, or you could long press button one. And as you can see, this is like easy. It's literally launching a PC executable game. Hyperspin has no hiccups on it. It's just so much easier. Whereas Techno Parrot. It's got a, it launches that game, that loading screen that you saw, and all that. But again, real quick, we'll do some Street Fighter 4. So, same thing, this is the actual arcade version. So, it's looking for coins. Please wait. Pull up the volume. Same thing again, these games are literally Japan. It literally says in the beginning, like, it's only for Japan.、Uh, let's do our man Ryu. I hate being on this side. I have to always be on the left to get my combos right. And again, this is a six button game. Could never figure out how to pull off like the ultras. And the battle continues! Yeah! <laughs> 
So, like I said, there you go. There's Street Fighter 4. I have literally the button to exit. It's literally here. And now I'm going to be back into hyperspin. As you see, we're back. And as you see, we're back. We can go back. We'll launch a uh, Techno Parrot. So, as you can see, like, my file's here now. It's just a, a little bit of a name change I have to do on that. Uh, so, real quick on this, like, we could run. Uh, We'll run Dead or Alive 5. So as you can see, like you see that, like the screen went, it blacked out. I'm actually back in full control of Hyperspin. But the big thing is that once you just press enter on it, just let it do its thing, uh, you're gonna see the wheel probably will spin. And as you can see there, uh, it booted. So you might be confused. That's the thing. Um, literally Techno Pirates launching like four programs in the background, you saw the CMD. In reality, in the background here is like the techno power thing. So, just keep that in mind. Yes, Get ready, fight! So this looks like a three? Three button game? Three, four. Yeah, this is a three button game, see? Nothing happens with four and five. I've never been a fan of that all right, so. So as you can see here right now, if I try to escape, see, I'm not I'm not doing anything. Nothing's happening. Uh, again, I have this button set to escape. So you do need the keyboard handy, but just to show you that there's no BS to it. If I hit the Windows key real quick, uh, and I go to my control panel on the bottom here, on the bottom right, I do have Joy to key running. And I have it where basically if I open up the main menu here, I'm gonna show you, I have escape set, as you can see here, see? It just doesn't reading it. Um, so you do, you will need a keyboard handy for techno pad. You could literally see, I have escape set up. It's not recognizing escape. Uh, I don't know why, but yeah. So now we're back. Get enter back in. And again, just to show you kind of like the wheels and the ROMs and such. Again, this is currently the most wanted emulator. People are going crazy for it. The next video will look at like the Star Wars game. Again, I would probably say like, you know, out of 80 games, maybe I would say about 70 will actually work very well. Uh, Fast and the Furious, unfortunately, I think only one or two of them work out of the five that I have. Um, it's just, again, it's not the computer. There's no issue with it. It's just the emulation itself. Uh, but. Honestly, there you guys have it. That's our wheel talking Tato Type X and Sega Ring Edge.